morning and welcome to a day in my life. So this morning so far I taught for VIP Kid and I was really too tired to say hello before that. So now that I feel nice and awake after teaching that student, um, I feel like I can talk. So I always get up in the morning and I teach in my PJ bottoms. I put on my VIP Kid shirt and now I'm gonna have my coffee and breakfast and we're gonna get this day going. So um, I'll catch up with you later. I'm going to eat this breakfast then I'm going to um, read my Bible, do my devotions. I might work out, I really need to. We'll see if I have enough motivation to. And then after that, I'm gonna get ready for the day. All right, I just finished my breakfast. Now I'm just finishing up my coffee. And um, I figured I'd update you on what I'm doing because I'm going to be doing something reseller related. I am going to um, start out the morning by sending out offers to all the people who liked things over the night. I like to get out those offers as soon as possible. I like to um, sell things quick. So I am a big fan of offers to likers. So I'm gonna send out those offers, then I'm gonna to respond to some comments on YouTube, and then maybe we'll see about getting up. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to do my shipping now. All I've done since I've seen you last is I worked out, took a shower, got ready for the day. I do like to get dressed every day. I don't always do my makeup, but today I figured I would since, you know, I'm in the camera. But um, I always get dressed every day. I feel like it does help me be more productive. If I sit around my PJs, I act like I'm sitting around my PJs and I just don't get as much done. So I'm getting ready to do my shipping today. I'm staying home and I did schedule a pickup. So I want to make sure everything is ready by the time the mailman gets here. It's 11.15 now. He normally shows up around 2 or 3. So I've got time. But just in case he comes early, I wanted to have it all ready to go. So I'm going to do my shipping and I'll take you along with me. So what I do with my shipping is I print off the labels and I just write what it is on the back. So this is PJs and the inventory number is J15. I also sold a pair of vintage jeans and that SKU number is GG5. So I'll pull those from my inventory. I made four sales on Poshmark today and two sales on Mercari. So I'm gonna finish printing those and then I'll go grab my inventory. All right, so I'm just gonna pull my shipping now. First thing I sold is a robe. It's a Victoria's Secret robe. I sold it for $25. I sold it through Closet Clear Out, so the buyer got the discounted shipping. Um, she sent me an offer for $25, and I told her I would drop the price to $25 so she would get the discounted shipping, and she accepted that, so I got to save her a few bucks. Um, the next sale is a bundle. I've already pulled that in the other room. Um, I'll show you what I what sold and when I go back in there. But this bundle, I really wanted to make sure it was um, under five pounds before I accepted the offer. So I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Um, I sold some vintage jeans, which are also in the other room um, in my closet inventory. Um, I sold some PJs. Um, I can't remember how much these sold for, so I'll put that here. But I got these from the Goodwill Outlet. It's a matching set. And now I have to pull a few Mercari sales. So I sold a Patagonia mini skirt and a Simply Southern tee. And both of these Mercari sales were offers from the buyer and I just accepted them because I wanted to have a fast flip and it's a small profit, but um, that's kind of what I'm used to with Mercari is just smaller sales. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go pack these up for shipping. Come on along. All right, let me show you in my inventory closet. I just pulled a few things and I figured I'll let you guys look at my messy aspect of my reselling business. For those of you who say I'm so organized, Take a look in here. <laughs> so this is my other inventory closet. I've got shoes up there, some shipping um, bubble wrap. Then I have some more inventory. These I got from Walmart, so you can just like pull straight out. You don't have to pick them up. These are also from Walmart. I had those in my classroom when I was a teacher and when I left, I took them with me to use as inventory storage since I did buy them with my own money. And you can see down here. And then some inventory that doesn't fit in bins. I've got some jewelry down there that I'm selling. Purses, men's ties, boots, some home goods. <laughs> some more clothes that was kind of not fitting in my inventory system until I expanded into the laundry room. And then some hanging stuff. So yeah, super duper organized, huh? <laughs> so that is my closet storage space. All right, so I'm getting ready to package these things up and I thought I'd show you just kind of my process. So you can see here, I have an inventory number on here. This is number D3. 
So I'm going to write that over here since that inventory number is now available. And I just put it on a roller sheet and I cut these out later. It's really nothing fancy or expensive. And then I take a thank you sticker and I put it right over top of my inventory number so I don't even have to remove it. And now it's ready for shipping. And I'll do that with all of my other items as well. And just cover up the inventory number and write it down. And yeah, that system works really well for me. I used to um, package everything up and wrap it up and put a bow on it and it was really pretty. And sometimes I still do that if it's like a more expensive item, but just for like normal everyday shipping, I just put the thank you sticker on it and I package it up and put it in the bag, tape it up if needed. And that's pretty much it. I keep it really simple now just because I'm shipping more items. Um, not to say that some days I don't feel led to do extra, but that's pretty much how I do my shipping. And I think that looks nice. I'd be happy to get that in the mail knowing my item is protected. It's got a thank you sticker on it. So some effort was put into it. These are my favorite mailing envelopes. They are the, just the Tyvek ones. I think they're really durable and waterproof and keeps anything from getting damaged in the mail. They are a good size that I could fit a pair of jeans in it. I could fit these pajamas in it, um, as well as smaller items. I sometimes put in these mailers, but these are my favorite. I normally order these in bulk and I also like the padded flat rates, but for some reason there is a backup on padded flat rates and I'm not able to get them in the mail lately. So that's a bummer. Um, so yeah, I'm using these for today. All right, so I told you I would tell you a little bit about this bundle that I sold. So I sold three items in this bundle. First is this um, Blarney Woolen Mills Wool Cashmere Travel Cape. I got this from the Goodwill Outlet. Um, this cape alone goes for around $200 new. So I had it listed pretty high at $125 and I figured I'd be taking an offer on this, not selling it at that price. And then I had this um, eye collection front zip corset, super fancy there. Um, and then this shirt that or sweater that I just listed yesterday. So this was a really fast flip. It's just a um, beaded sweater. Let me show it to you there. And it has um, really good fabric content like mohair and silk and all kinds of great things. So anyway, these three items, I got an offer from the buyer. She offered me, I think, $90 and I countered at 125. She countered back at 115 or 110. She countered back at 110 and I did decide to accept that offer. Um, I know I probably could have held out and got more for each of these items individually, but when it comes to bundles, I'm usually willing to give a good deal. And the fact was I just listed this. So I, I love a fast flip. It's just so much fun for me to sell things really quickly. So I did take this offer. Um, I made a profit of $88 minus my cost of goods, which is around a couple dollars a piece for these items. So anyway, I was happy with that profit. Um, let me know, would you have taken that offer of $110 on these or would you have held out for those pieces individually? Everyone has different business models and some people I know probably would have held out on these and tried to get top dollar for each item. But for me, I just like to keep things moving and accept offers quickly. So let me know what you would have done. I won't be offended if you say that you would have held out on those. But um, anyway, I'm going to just lint roll these things, clean them up, make sure they're in perfect condition. And then I actually put these in a garbage bag to just ensure that nothing is gonna get ruined. Um, this is a very nice cashmere jacket. I would hate for it to get water damage. And I'm going to be shipping it in this board game box. It's a large flat rate. Um, these work really well for big coats and, and very large items. So that's what I'm going to be doing for this. Um, I try to make the garbage bag look a little more upscale. I put like a, a ribbon around it and a thank you card on it just so it doesn't look like I just threw it all in a garbage bag. But um, normally we have compostable white garbage bags. But for now, this is just a plain normal white garbage bag. I wouldn't use one that has like a big red ribbon tie on it that looks too trashy. But since it's a nice white bag, it's just for extra protection to ensure that this buyer receives their item in the condition that I promise.
Okay, so I have the coat bagged up in here and the corset. And then I'm just keeping the sweater out because it's already bagged up. But I just figured this would provide some extra protection to this. And I'm just going to carefully slide it into the board game box. I think that's what this is called on the USPS website. But I'll slide that in there. And then I'll put that other package on top, letting out air. <laughs> All right. And then I'll just put this on top so it has that extra protection. So I'm going to write a thank you card for this one because it was over $100 and I like to do that when it's a higher end item instead of just the thank you stickers. All right, so I got my thank you card. I'm gonna stick that in there. Um, yeah, I don't always do thank you cards anymore. Do you still do thank you cards for every package? Let me know if you guys do that. Um, it's just, it, it took a lot of time and I had to just decide what things were essential and what things were just extra. So I decided to not write thank you cards for every item. So this bag or this box is starting to bow a little bit. So I'm going to make sure I tape that up to provide some extra protection to these items. I would hate for something to get damaged in transit. So I'm going to finish doing that and I'll catch up with you in a few minutes. All right, so that is safely packed up and ready to go. Now I need to work on my Mercari shipping. Um, I have just two things that I sold. The thing that stinks about Mercari is um, I have to print on normal paper. I can't use my Rolo printer. I did watch a hack video one time of how to like print Mercari labels on Rolo, but you have to like change your paper size and then I would have to change it back whenever I'm done. So I normally just print that with my brother printer. So it just prints on paper. So it's a little bit more work to work on Mercari. And then I have to always go to my email. I can't just print straight from Mercari. So it's just a little less user friendly. But um, anyway, I'm happy for making sales on there. Either way, any extra money I can make, I'm all for that. So I'm gonna reweigh these, make sure my, um, my weight is correct so I'm not paying any extra in postage. And I'm gonna get those ready to ship out. All right, so I got my shipping right here by the front door ready to go. I like to keep it in just a paper bag so that when he comes, I can hand it all to him in one nice scoop and he doesn't have to come back. Also, can I just say I have the nicest mailman. He always greets me by name and just says thank you and just like tells me to have a great day, comments on like how my sales went. So anyway, I like my mailman. He's pretty cool. All right, so now I am going to list some things. I have my rack of clothes here. I'm going to try to get done um, with all these sweaters here and then hopefully the jeans. I might save the dresses till tomorrow. We'll see how things go. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. I have to use my phone to photograph, so maybe I'll get a few shots with my iPad. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I'm gonna be working on right now. I am going to probably listen to a podcast or some music while I work. That's one thing I like about reselling is you have the ability to constantly be learning. Um, either by YouTube videos or podcasts and just staying up to date on things. So that's probably what I'll be doing. I think I may listen to El Ducho. Um, she has a podcast called Flip the Script. I think that's what I'm going to listen to this morning while I get work done. Hello. So it's almost one o'clock and I just finished processing this bag of inventory. So I photographed it, measured it, weighed it. It's ready to go. If you put in my inventory system, now I'm going to work on some pants. Um, I was going to do a time lapse for you, but I really wanted to listen to a podcast and apparently my iPad cannot record while listening to a podcast. So I will sacrifice for you. Do a nice little time lapse of me photographing and um, listing these pants, photographing, measuring, inventorying these pants. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to try to get them done before I eat lunch. That's my goal. And then after lunch, um, I'm going to draft all of these things and hopefully get some listings up today. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. All right. So here's what I want to get done. Let's see how long it takes me to photograph, um, measure and inventory all of these pants. I just finished photographing all of those pants. It is, let's see what time it is. It is 1.32 and I'm starving. So I'm gonna put away all these hangers that I have hanging out here. <laughs> 
and then I'm gonna go eat lunch and we'll work from there. All right, so here's lunch. I made a salad with carrots and celery and chicken um, and some of this dairy-free ranch. I'm gluten and dairy-free and this month I am doing the Whole30 diet. So I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to get my health back in shape. Um, I have hypothyroidism and um, just like chronic allergies. So I'm trying to get those under control and curb my addiction with sugar because I do like sugar. So this month, um, the Whole30 diet restricts all those things. I can put like right here, like what you can't have on the Whole30 diet and what you can have. So anyway, that's my lunch for today, long story short, and it looks good. I'm excited to eat it and I'm going to have an orange with it. And I'm probably gonna sit down, and watch some YouTube videos, relax for a little while, eat. And then after that, I'm going to do all my drafts for the things I just photographed. All right, so I finished lunch and I'm just sitting here drafting listings for Poshmark. So what I've already done is I've taken the pants pictures and I've made collages of them. I just use the app, um, just a collage maker from Instagram. Um, I use that, you don't have to have Instagram to use it. It's just a free app. So I use that to make my collages to show the front and the back of the pants. And then I lighten up the first picture. I found that when I'm photographing on a white wall, I actually have to edit my pictures more, which is crazy because with my door, I didn't really have to do that. Like they turned out nice and bright, but for some reason the contrast with the white is just different. So I'm having to just brighten all my pictures and I do that right in my phone. I don't have an app for it. I just lighten it up. So that's what I've already done so far. And I've already drafted two or three. Two hours later. So it's like almost three o'clock. My mailman just came. He took my packages and he's just so nice. Um, but anyway, I got some padded flat rates in the mail. I ordered like 50 or 60 of them. And this is what I get. <laughs> I got nine. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why um, the postal service isn't giving away as many of these lately, but um, I'll take what I can get, I guess. I, I just maybe will order some more soon or check my backlog and see what else is coming if there's a reason why <laughs> they're doing this. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I just know the post office is pretty backed up right now and that's, that's fine. It's just a little bit after five o'clock. I just listed 16 items. Um, all the items I photographed earlier are listed now on Poshmark. Um, yeah, I usually will photograph like a ton of things in one day or list a ton of things in one day. I don't normally do this where I photograph and then list those same items. I've been trying this method um, for a couple of days now. I did this yesterday as well and it worked great for me and I listed around the same amount of items. Um, however, normally what I'll do is I'll photograph like a whole rack of clothes and then I'll list it like the next day. And But I'm trying to break it up a little bit, we'll see. Um, honestly, every day in my life is a little bit different, so I could do a couple more of these videos if you guys enjoyed them and show you um, how things change and what I do from day to day on like different days. So anyway, if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up so I know and I can make more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, all that, leave them down below. So anyway, I'm going to go make dinner. I may cross list some things tonight, we'll see. Um, but I don't stress over it. If it gets cross listed, that's awesome. If not, it's not the end of the world. It'll get cross listed at another time. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Bye.